Oh, what's up, guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my own Pirate Wall. Let's play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. And in this episode, we are attacking a Mughal force that's landed behind our lines via amphibious assault. The devilish swine. Let's take them out and destroy them. So this, uh, <laughs> the Bavarian campaigns are very much reached stage where we are, uh, <laughs> We're going to be fighting a whole lot of action. I think what I'm actually going to do, rather than taking a more casual stance to the Americas, I'm actually going to put my foot on the gas a little bit because you've got loads of money. So why why not be as aggressive as possible? I think it would be silly to waste our opportunity to destroy American forces. But let's put some artillery on this high ground. How it says stay down below. Let's put the native troops in the centre. Let's just combine them with Royal Cairo Infantry Guard because native African infantry is not as good as Western infantry. So at least by adding or putting some of my Cairo Guard in there, I'm giving them a bit of extra support. You men hold here. My light infantry are going to deploy afterwards. Hey. Can my howitzers hit them with quicklime? We can! Quicklime those mortars. Alternatively, we may... I mean, I suppose technically we are meant to be attacking anyway. Eh, yeah, these lancers, they miscalculated a bit. That's what I want to see. Here comes the enemy quick climbing howitzers. just got hit badly. Redeploy the line. New men. Advance. sure my howitzers are focusing on their guns. Get my dragoons up here. Got a large, large contingent of bowmen. You men form a square because the Sipahi go and get you. So new men in to engage. Sipahi in combat. Chase them down. My light cavalry. I want them to advance into. Well, advance into. Oh, no, I can't. Engage with musketry because the elephants are nearby. They've broken your square twice. I mean, it's fun. It's nice of them to cluster around the to cluster around the uh, uh, mortars, so that my fire is still useful. But you men on the flank need to get up there and put their forces under threat. Okay, 
Okay, you guys fire well off because you're a bit useless now. We're still just within the range. Come on, let's knock out either their elephants or their bowmen. You men go for the bows, because you are now wavering. Excellent. We can clear out the elephant and musketeers, that would be ideal. Too close feud hit us with mortars. I oh, know we're not, we're bang on. Pull out the cavalry. Push forward. Shrapnel shots out of reach. Plan your dragoons, run around the rear. Where's my cavalry? There it is. Yeah, there you go. Cavalry survived. Not sure who the uh, cavalry was after on the right, but it wasn't it wasn't my general who I planned, and they ran away anyway. See, these are only elephant musketeers. They're not. It's not their general. You men might just form up with your carbines and engage. You in charge the bowmen. To bring the flanks in. You men might actually form a form a line against the general's bodyguard. Ways. There's a whole lot of slaughter here. Oh, they've opened fire onto my chevalier gunners. Turn your guns and engage the elephants. Uh, turn your line versus dervishes. General, get over here. Hindu warriors. Keep killing the bowmen. Let's force them to shatter. Come on, General, get in. Well, on the artillery fight, we kill the enemy general. Oh, they're charging in out of sheer desperation. Here comes the bowmen. Switch to round shot. Excellent. Push up a new front rank. Although you guys push up against the Hindu musketeers, everyone else. Something like that. Pull the general back, the infantry, fill in the gaps. Cavalry engage the bowmen. Good old Chevaux Leger. They're going to cut down into the bowmen. Yeah, you're going to continue trying to kill that unit of bowmen. Indian musketeers aren't exactly top dollar. Excellent. 
that. And we have light infantry in point blank range, they're going to be incredibly accurate. Looks like. Yes, let's continue. Take the artillery, cease fire it. I mean, in general, just go after whatever you can. Let's not bother about optimizing. You may break out of just sheer exhaustion yourselves anyway. At least see if you can knock out this unit of bowmen. Yarnum. No, oh, it is a, it's actually an actual Mortico running away. Well, attempting to run away. Infantry will deal with them. How about you? Get him! One last guy. Got him. Nice. Excellent, so that's another raiding force dealt with. We do need more naval forces in the area. We have 1,500 left. They've been driven westward. Then you are going to have to go the long way around to prevent them. Unless you... Can you... Yes! Okay, auto that. That's not enough. Do you have any troops in Esfahan? No, in which case then let us recruit some. There you go, light forces, something like that. Because they are going to absolutely raid our stuff now, which is a bit annoying, but whatever. So you men advance up to the front line. Brands louder. Push up to provide support. You men need to... You're going to raid Lacana and then pull out. Because you require support and you're also getting backup from Kabul. Nice. Right. I mean, there's a lot of stuff we can do here. Replenishing, replenishing. Lots of armies that are in good condition. Stay this side of the river. Let's upgrade Dhaka into a church school. Plenishing. We can recruit some interesting Sepoy armies here, actually. One rocket troop, because apparently we can only recruit not very many of those. Something like that. Cool. Then this navy is going to go up and deal with Merzadaras. Just a bunch of Jebeks and fourths and fifths. That's not really going to be a fight. So they've still got most of their ships. But they're depleted. So. Okay, pull you back to Colombo. make sure we are blockading ports if we're not in them. So what do I want to do with you? What do I want to do with you?
you may land at Katak. So let's take these ships out. Let's say you push on and take Katak. So that's just going to be an auto resolve. Bit of a hammer in we got fright. Okay, there's an army. You men replenish. Let's repair the governor's barracks. Build fortifications. Push down another army in support. Excellent. Uh, you can recruit your sloop. So Mr. Strack is probably going to go south as well. So we're going to want Mr. Edinburgh with support, but not as the lead army. You're going to attack Mohammed Suresh to help clear out the west of Calcutta. Maintain momentum. Never stop. <laughs> yeah, we've, got, we've got a lot of fights we can do. We've got a lot of fights up in the in the northwest and in and in the Americas now. If I'm going to get if I'm going to go full bore on the uh, the old attack the U.S. game, we need to get cracking with that too. Classic rain. So let's. I'm splitting my foot guards up. It's got one twenty-four pounder. that's going to be on this this reverse this slope here, not the reverse slope. Split up another bunch of troops. Four reserves. Should keep my lancers and my horse grenadier guards together. My horns are on one side. Heavy horse howitzers and limber. Howitzers and limber. Okay, enemy reinforcements are coming in from the west. from the east, I, would, I suppose. Form line for battle. Push out my horns, all in. Let's get offensive on the left flank. Artillery to start blasting shrapnel. Okay, they immediately respond to our offensive moves with some of their own. Get into position. Horse grenade guards take the lancers. Let's limber these guns up. Owen Zollin engage the Islamic swordsmen. Royal Indian Cavalry Guards are defeated. Heavy Cavalry will cut through the Islamic Swordsmen, okay. Heavy Horse Artillery, switch to canister shot. Grenadiers form square. You men form up in your line. Horse grenade guards go out wide. Foot grenade guards. Foot grenade guards. Foot, foot guards. Lead regiment get stuck in. Because these mighty Bavarians have a date with destiny. We need to kill the Kizilbashi cavalry, kill the Islamic swordsmen, and maintain our offensive. Get my artillery to engage the horsemen. More mounted elements coming in. That's not good for them. my guy. They must have my guys broke. Well, they didn't break. They just came out of square. 
Form up. Let's get ready. Lancer guards, get out of there. Artillery, recover. Lee regiment, charge the Islamic swordsmen. See, they are starting to. They are bogging down my Cohen's and they're getting them down to half strength. She should be getting blasted by shrapnel. Uh, canister shot. She are. Okay, they really want my lancers. Instead, run my lancers over to the edge of the map because there are mortars coming in. Come on, kill the Islamic swordsmen. Go on, 30th foot guards, commit and engage the Hindu warriors. Come on. Now oh, the mortars are taking their sweet time to get on the field. Set this Lancers to chase down this unit of General's bodyguard. Because they're cavalry, they'll do a grand job. Ooh, friendly fire. Cut, cut, yeah. Quick climb, maybe? Begin just dropping. I climb down, run my cavalry away. Horsemen. Okay, so those. Yeah, there we go. So we've started to. We've broken down the enemy line. 24 pounders limber up. And mortifier coming in. In which case, then, advance. Come on, you men. You need to pour fire onto those elephants. Because we can't. They are. They do. They really want to kill my cavalry. And they are going to. Cavalry are going to die. Yeah. Bring my foot guards and Hohenzollern over here, but they've taken a bit of a hammering. You man, halt, form up, and put some fire on the enemy. Let's actually target my artillery now. We have to kill some of these enemy. Elephants. They're going to break through our square, no trouble at all. Where's my cavalry? Take out their mortars. Things. That's an enemy general there. Would be nice to take them out. There we go. Enemy mortars being attacked by my horse grenadier guards, which look beautiful. Nothing they could do to help. Oh yeah, you guys are back there. Uh, my there we go. One of my Howitz units just go to work on them. Send my cavalry over to intercept the war elephant. Oh, they're just war elephants. 
I always am so convinced that when I see, as I see elephants, it's like, ah, it's the general. Quick climb. Either go for the mercenaries then, in that case. Let's speed up time. Because all that's happening is the other unit's getting bombarded by artillery. Yeah, we're going to continue for a little bit. Not expecting big things. There's one unit over here that's going to make it. They're going to get stuck on a, uh, a bit of uneven terrain and go in single file. But everyone else is after this unit of Tufangi. These were the chaps that were getting... Uh, let's get my, get my generals involved if they make it over here in time. There we go. They're going down nicely. Nice. Close victory is a bit messy, but that's okay. Messy battles are okay. Nice. So that is the western edge of Calcutta cleared. Our foothold is secure. So you're replenishing, we're recruiting another army here. Port of Calcutta is recruiting more sloops. Down here, you are recruiting your own Wenzo Stidham. You are recruiting your own colonial army. You're getting, you're getting some extra expansion being done. But that's okay. Um, right. You go for... Schrenegar. If you go for this unit, we, how many of these will you draw in? Let's bring, bring up someone in support. Um, hmm. You may stay here just to kind of maintain the stop these forces from leaking south i would like to surround Naroon if i could but i think the better option is gonna be to push into here and attack this individual unit oh it's only gonna bring in one small force very well we're just gonna keep picking away at them just keep picking Then we'll force them to draw armies away from the rest of India, the front lines, and then we will begin landing some colonial armies on the south coast. They will not know how to defend. So let's... We're going to deploy with an offensive mindset. Get ready to advance. Well, in theory, their reinforcements should be coming in directly behind them, but this game never likes to uh, play ball. Curacier, go for the regiment of foot. Everyone else to effectively redeploy, like so. All military focus on that unit to the rear. Push out the light cavalry. To be honest, all my cavalry go on the left. Oh, 
Let's just advance. Yeah, you take out the gunners. Then my artillery just weaken them a little bit more. That's probably enough. Strictly speaking, the middle of their advance is about here. Well, they got a volley off against my cuirassier, but didn't kill a single one. Okay, may walk one cuirassier unit back to the other front line, the other flank. Let's kill a handful more. Kizzle Bachi. A lot of cavalry coming in, so you need to get ready to deal with that immediately. Go on, Freikor. Volley fire present. You may need to go there and help my light cavalry. It's a bit messy, but it's only yeah, Kizilbashi, they're gonna kill some of your own men, which they did. Where's my general? Mon general! Lots of good options to charge. I mean, Fusiliers would probably be the better one. You may gonna f uh, let's get this line infantry involved in the in the scrum. My fusiliers begin to engage the enemy. Light troops secure this this area of high ground. Say light troops. Do you have a unit of grenadiers in there? Push on heavy cavalry into the general's bodyguard. Infantry format, my cavalry, except for that unit of heavies that are charging in, withdraw. Heavy cavalry is enough to deal with the general. You should never have been with the vanguard. Come on, kill him. Got him. Who are you? Kizzle Bashi. Okay, really, we want to be. up on this hill or at the very least pushing it form up my cavalry on the flank okay you men securing the high ground just begin to run 
are advancing into point blank range to engage these guys. I don't give a damn. Engaging my marines as my weak component. I know they're engaging my fusiliers. Excellent. Oh, they did not like that volley. Ready and fire. Oh, yep, yeah, they've broken. Okay, let's begin to bring in my reserves. Right core cavalry and my hussars. Throw them into the mix. Dervishes v Grenadiers. You're charging downhill. You outnumber them. Push most of our men through the engagement. Come on, Hussars. Keep pursuing the enemy. Keep pushing men forward. We missed these irregulars back here. Or is that it? <laughs> Slam some men into the levee and see if anyone else shows up. Yeah, I think that might be... Might be all of them. I suppose it wasn't really a full army that was coming in behind them. I was expecting something a bit more durable. Levy's going to escape though. That wasn't a close victory. Okay, that's some um, elements taken care of. Push forward. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's take. I'll push you guys up a little bit. And if I try and attack you guys with Mr. Eichberg, that brings in a reinforcing army. Yep, let's begin to... We need to keep picking away at the, the, the armies around Lahore. There's no other way to do it except just go after them one at a time in sequential actions that favour your superior firepower in compact armies rather than ones that penalize you for that firepower and eventually you're in fighting melee combat against hordes and hordes and hordes of indian troops but things can get messy real quick so we're going to do be a bit more Traditional. You guys are grouped. Group. So your gun's there, your gun's there, your gun's uh I'm not gonna lie, actually I think I prefer I would prefer to fight over here. So let's 
redeploy our army. Howitzers are at the ready. I've still got to format though. Two grenadiers and skirmishers on the right. Grenadier guards, well not just skirmishers, elite Jaeger and grenadier, grenadier guards, I'll have you know. So one heavy on the left, heavy and skirmish on the right, but again, we are. going to be deploying in a way though that's actually not super useful because the enemy force is coming in on our flank So maybe I mean, you guys are going to run away. Well, my general is going to run to safety. I mean, this is very iffy. Form square, bring up my cuirassier. I suppose these, yeah, these marines are going to be in trouble. These native lancers are... They're, they're moving, but they're not charging. All you did was shoot down some of my lifeguards. So I want to get my artillery unlimbered, because that will really help. We're pinning down the enemy force at distance. Native Lance has got involved, but I've got some Marines in there. They're like the... I couldn't think of a better unit to have in the melee <laughs> within my army. The elite Jaegers, you're going to run up and place stakes. And limber your guns. Okay, now they're aware of the fact they can't slip back. The Gurkha unit there. Stakes on the Jaeger. Look, cancel placing stakes because the cavalry wants to skirmish with you. So let's skirmish back. This is drawing in lots of enemy cavalry, which is which is okay. Firing into the combat isn't super fun. Come on, my elite Jaeger. Blast a super accurate volley into them. Unlimber the guns. Trap no shot. I don't want to fight the Sikh warriors, but you may as well keep engaging. You're already there. Canister shot, the horsemen. Oh, that quick climb just annihilated that. That, uh, that Gurkha unit. Excellent canister shot turned away the skirmishers. Okay, man, now my elite Jaegers have to deploy stakes because they are going to bring a load of cavalry in. Get out of here, Curassier. 
My marines are going to fight on valiantly. Skirmishes are picking off some of the levy. Now my light cavalry sharpshooters can begin engaging from range. Make ready and fire. Excellent. Oh, the general's bodyguard unit up here has charged down towards us. I'm going to kind of ignore them. Get my grenadier guards to uh, work it out while we place stakes. So get my howitzers to keep dishing out loads of quicklime on this quite narrow front. Here comes my reinforcements. I want you guys to play stakes once you get into position. There we go. So run back, grenadier guards can run in. Who's that? Kizzle Bashi, run them down. And begin to turn their flank. Gunners limber up. Form my little line. My targeting was a bit off. Seek musketeers. Okay, you keep you engage the general's bodyguard. Everyone else is gonna begin to push. It may take the long way around, but they will eventually deploy around about here. Killed a few camels from the stakes. So you may are going to fight the camels. The elite Jaegers are going to try and hold the line. Excellent. You can limber up too. Oh, mercies. Bring them into the line. The Jaegers can work their way around the flank. Get my gun to engage, to engage this sort of area with shrapnel shot. Bring my other general up. Howitzers are okay. Artillery probably wants to be like over here. Indian infantry guards, eh? Sharpshooters, take him out. Couple of hits. So this unit for turn around. Guards. Oh, 
Okay, to be honest, I don't think there's much much to be gained in sitting back and letting them deploy. Not when we can choose to advance and congest the area with our troops. Okay, there's the infantry guard behind us, so let's maybe take you out with my cavalry. We can knock out this unit of Indian infantry guards, that'd be great, because then we shoot at the back of this next unit. Excellent. Fire onto this Dakil. You go stuck. Yep. Very well. Okay, the enemy is being able to deploy, which isn't what we want. Who's that? Two of Gurkhas that charge my line at point blank range. We've got a volley off. But it's not the end of the world. Light cavalry sharpshooters engage the bowmen. More levy. 24 pounders that are winning decisively, they claim. Push up. Just get my elite Jaegers into the line. To the 103rd Regiment. I mean, they're holding off. A small unit of Gurkhas, but then they're going to charge into the flank of this combat here, unless they break anyway, which they do. You men hold your line. You might get my lifeguards into this action here. Excellent. So let's begin advancing up the hill. They're just a bit screwed. Yeah, it looks like they're all running. Uh, where's that? Okay, right. Get yeah, my light cavalry sharpshooters up here because I want them after the Gurkhas. Jen, actually, no, you guys chase down the bowmen. You, you've earned it. Run some heavy cavalry up to try and get the Gurkhas. Everyone else is marching up to surround the remaining troops that are deploying. Another block of men. Remain under fire. Now your general mop up some bowmen. You could do something if I charge you right down the middle, but probably not going to happen. Push it up. The army. Get those Gurkhas. So we're about to take Srinagar, or we're going to take Srinagar, so every Gurkha unit they lose is a unit they can no longer replace. And 
and then I can start building Gurkhas. Excellent. It's one last fellow. So the artillery looks like they're pro well, they are going to escape. You're going to mop down, mop up this last guy. Mop down. There you go. They fired a, they fired a shot, and they're retreating with honour. Nice. Again, I wouldn't say it was a close victory. Kind of, yeah. I keep saying that. Oh, it's not close. It's just messy. Yeah. It's a bit dumb, really. <laughs> uh, okay, so you probably want something cool unit of infantry. That's what you're going to get. Of some description. A unit of mercenaries, there we go. Seems suitably thematic. And you've got Mr. Lightner. Again, but again, you've got lots of foot artillery, but I want quick climb. You're not within range. You're pushing up to support these guys that are currently depleted. You replace them. Okay, so that's you guys dealt with. You need to get aboard ship and sail for Iceland. Yet another job I've not really done. So let's take the city and then we'll see what happens to their main army when they come after us. But then again, it's but it's mostly irregulars anyway, so. We're going to auto-resolve the battle for Reykjavik. Lost a lot more men there than I'd really like. But that's the way with auto-resolves. There we go. Yes, yeah, so you've taken this region to the south. That's okay. Let's cascade my ships down the line and say, okay, let's send these, this cluster to go and raid Mangalore with maybe one fifth rate expanding up the coast and attacking their unprotected ports. Excellent, and take this heavy privateer up Surat. You're infiltrating Ahmadnagar. I mean, yeah, there's there's they got large concentrations of troops, but they can't really sustain those concentrations where they want them. Okay, let's hop over to America. Yeah, we need to do something about this. So let's go back to Bavaria. Where we have multiple armies under recruitment as we go. One more centre, you're done. You will go to the Americas. I don't think we're going to need many more armies in India. Yes, you get Lancer, Hohenzollern, Cursier, and I don't get enough Dragoon units. Let's get a Val Dragoon. They've been a very critical part of our force for a long time. So let's get. If we're going to leave the rocket troops for India. There we go. Then let's get some... Get some regular... Wood artillery plus a unit of... I can't get native African skirmishes. It'll take 12 turns to get here. Mountain troops. And Kaspar Becker... Four units of spaces left. Let's get you a regular line infantry units. I think you are just a bit short on infantry. And here in the city itself, you're full. So you can't recruit anything anyway. Cool. And in Paris, you need special infantry. Two lifeguard, two marines... Oh, yep, yeah. and four more extra units. Get two units of line, two mercenaries. Excellent. 
you get back to Brest, where we will recruit some sixth rates to get us over to the new world. Excellent. So you here. Can Chris Traeger now leave the letter? He can! I mean, it's a, a light galley is like the worst thing to put him on because if he gets caught out anywhere, he can't get to the uh, he can't get to the zone in time. So make way. Sail into Cadiz. Good. Cool. I think we're going to hit and turn. Let's see how things develop. My spies are forever marching. That's a garrison army coming in. Here come the priests. Excellent. Oh, <laughs> some of these things already have a... I'm dummy. Dumb, dumb, dummy. I mean, they haven't even developed all their plantations yet. Yeah, look, so those are more full stacks being marched up to the front line. So we've taken a hammering. That means we're going to stockpile armies in Calcutta. Are they going to pick up another stack? Yes, they are. They're going to go towards Esfahan, but I think we will be in range... To intercept them with our garrison units that we're recruiting. They may be about to attack our raiding forces. Yeah, they are. Oh, it's a good fleet, actually. Let's see how, many, how much damage our fifths can do. None. It's part of the gamble. I need more fleet fleets over here. Otherwise, this will keep happening. Oh, they're reinforcing the Lahore salient. Yeah, they're about to sweep all of their ports clear. Although they just lost five ships there. They've captured all my fifth rates, but... Okay. Ah, uh, my sixth just got captured. I need more. I need to get more fleets over here to make it less less viable for them to ship ship their amphibious assaults around our lines. And we want to intercept this army. We do want to intercept it, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for some more slaughter of the Indian armies. See you, everyone. Mm -hmm.